scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. This time talking about absolute power. Oddly, this year, Big Finish have released two main range releases together in December. Usually you get two releases in September. The reason that they used to do this was in order to have one release coming out per issue of Doctor Who magazine. Because let's face it, if you think about it, there should be 13 months in a year. For those of you thinking that I'm talking complete nonsense about calendars and dates, you do the maths. In your head, there's meant to be four weeks in a month, yeah? And there are 52 weeks in a year. So divide one by the other and tell me how many you get. It's a mess. It would be much simpler if we started again. Look, if you're interested in this sort of thing, go and watch Dave Gorman. He's got some brilliant solutions. I mean, we could have October as the 8th month again. December as the 10th month. Yeah, it's all making a lot of sense. But that's not what it's important. In fact, if anything, I'm talking complete nonsense. Because what we're here to discuss, as well you know, is absolute power. And then, very shortly, I'll be discussing its sister release, Quicksilver. Now, the problem with Absolute Power is that it comes out at the same time as Quicksilver. Absolute Power is brilliant. Quicksilver is in danger of overshadowing it because it's simply superb. This is not a good arrangement. If there was a month between these two releases, we would simply have been very, very impressed, and then very, very, very impressed. So, put your prejudices to one side, and any preconceptions. Come on, we're Doctor Who fans. We can do this. And then, let's talk about this particular release. First off, you've got a Doctor Who story without any recurring monsters, which is great. You've got Constance. Yes, Constance is a brilliant Doctor Who companion. She gives as good as she gets. You know me, you've been listening to my reviews for long enough to know that I really don't like using words like runaround or romp. They're shorthand, meaning nothing over the years. I mean, a runaround merely means that stuff happens. Well, it's an audio drama. You're going to expect that. And then stuff happens elsewhere, and the plot moves along at a pace. Well, this is big finish. We know things move along at a pace, because they know what they're doing. These writers are particularly talented. We've now reached a point, after so many years of big finish, where audio drama output vastly outstrips anything that the BBC have ever produced in the visual oeuvre. Yes, I got to say oeuvre. Well, that's one thing ticked off a bucket list. Seriously, though, Doctor Who, for me, has become more and more of an audio medium. You just can't knock it. And this story is very good. You've got classic things that are left over from, say, the Pertwee era, where you've got industrial archaeologists, people digging things up, things that they should really leave to one side. Yes, there are descriptions of spheres left by ancients that remind you of something hanging over Canary Wharf. But you know what? The idea of a sphere, well, it's a basic scientific shape. It's going to appear in science fiction time and time again. So let's not go there too harshly judging people. You've got people with a backstory. You've got people discovering the past. But you'll hear all that in a moment on the trailer. So is it good? Of course it's good. Is it well acted? Well, without question. 
is it a shining, shining star in this year's Big Finish main range releases? Well, it's a star. It might not be the greatest of go-to stories. It may not be something that grabs your attention any longer than while you're listening to it. But while you're listening to it, you'll be transported to another world. And it has the sort of performances and background that'll stay with you for a while. They'll latch on to your consciousness. And, best of all, this is a great Sixth Doctor story. Now, with Doctor Who, you didn't have, historically a lot of development with your companions. Apart from your very first story and your very last story, you didn't get a lot going on to develop you. We've all heard the conversations at conventions from actors and actresses moaning, or at least commenting on this. Well, that's fine. Because on Big Finish, that just doesn't happen. Constance Clark is taken on a journey. And I'm not talking journey in the Strictly Come Dancing or X Factor contestant kind of way. I'm talking an actual journey where somebody starts in one place and ends in another. Their emotional development takes them back to their origins, yes, I'll grant you that, and then pushes them further on. This is much more than Tegan just going, had enough now, going home, bye. No, this is so much better. And aren't you glad I didn't do that in an Australian accent? So, buy this by all means. I know you'll want to. And let's face it, it's the main range. You've got all the others. What's one more release between friends? It's superbly directed, incredibly well acted. And you know what? I've got no issues with it whatsoever. My only issue, as always, is that straight after listening to this, I listened to Quicksilver, which was, sadly, just a tiny bit better. So don't let it be overshadowed by its sister release. Listen to this, and you won't be disappointed. So until next time, be seeing you. Hello? Anyone? Help! Help me, please! Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Ah, good day, gentlemen. Ah, Doctor, we've been expecting you. Doctor Who, absolute power. Come on! Come on! Doctor, what, what's this that's just lit up? Ah, no, 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 no. What you're doing, old girl? The threat is within. <laughs> Enough, Doctor. Leave this place or I shall destroy you. We need to get out of here. Uh, where is Constance? What have you done with her? I'm afraid that poor Constance is about to be involved in a tragic accident. Uh, uh. Oh, they won't budge. This is all looking rather bleak. Hold tight! Good luck, Emma. Thank you. What's happening? Now, old girl, we're ready! Big Finish. We love stories. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast, available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog? Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. <laughs>